lots of stories highlighting the link between obesity and fast food, but there's another story uh, that perhaps hasn't been told. Now, you could call it, uh, I suppose, the inconvenient truth about fast foods. They're actually, as it turns out, good for the economy. Now, McDonald's, for instance, they export $300 million dollars in cheese and dairy products, uh, more than our entire aquaculture industry. The aquaculture industry is, you know, oysters, mussels and salmon. Now this story is about a burger which is beefing up, or maybe I should say lambing up, our farming economy. Hayden Jones is in Taranaki following the meat and the money. When it comes to tending their flock, John McMurray Get in, bud. Get and his workmate Bud are an efficient team. For 35 years, John has worked bud. with lambs mostly. I always spend the summer milking cows for the neighbours up here, and that was enough to put me off for life. You see, John's animals are his livelihood. Their muscles become meat on dinner plates around the world, and that money goes in John's pocket. Money, yeah. Very important word, that. John has 2,800 lambs. Soon, 2,200 of them will be taken from their mum and sent to a factory in Whanganui. They will be killed and cut up. This should not shock you, it's not new. In fact, it's what we've always done. For all of last century and a bit of the one before that, we made our money from putting dead lambs on boats and selling them to the world. New Zealand lamb is packed for other markets these days, for markets in North America and the Middle East. But in the last two decades, the world has fallen out of love with lamb. Sit down, bud. Sit down. John McMurray knows this. He's got less lambs than ever before and less colleagues too. Since 19... 85, we've probably gone from 22,000 sheep and beef businesses down to about 12,000 now, so it's a hell of a lot of businesses. Our national flock is now less than half of what it was in the early 80s. But if you follow the meat, you can also follow the money. And that journey tells us a little story about a ray of hope for farmers everywhere. In Waitara, the staff car park at the Ansco production plant is half full. Back in the day, the freezing works employed 1,000 people. And then it closed and everyone lost their job. So the locals are pretty happy that some of the jobs are back. And it's here in Waitara, 100 locals have been employed to turn John's lambs into burger patties. We can do about 20,000 an hour. Hamish so. McCook is one of the bosses. He says the fast food industry has been good for Waitara. Waitara community has benefited from having this operation here because we've got uh, just over 100 jobs um, that we're able to give people and they can um, be productive and the families, we see families coming through here as well. So I think it's been really good for the community. It means Sissy spends eight hours a day making sure each patty is just right. And in a little room, three women are employed to taste burger patties. They do 32 a day. Hey girls, testing time. There are no men employed here. They'll come in and eat them. Oh, they'll come in yeah, and eat them. Yeah, they'll come and eat them. I was born a K and a half up the road. I educated a K and a half down that way. I work in the middle of town. I live on the other side of the bridge. And within 2K here is my probably final residence will be up the top of the hill at Waitra. So yeah, I call it my 2K life. I've, uh, Never left the place, so I love it. Craig McFarlane is the only member of his family not to have had a job at the freezing works. My dad uh, started working in the works. Uh, my older brother worked there, my younger brother and my younger sister. Um, even my mum worked in there. He owns his own garage and is a local councillor as well. He says it's good meat production is back, even if it is fast food. To know that they're actually made in Waitra here uh, and distributed all around New Zealand, probably South Australasia, has, has probably got to be a boost to uh, that, that meat industry and certainly is a boost to Waitra. This is the burger that's got the farmers and the meat workers in small towns all excited. It's a McDonald's lamb burger. Doesn't look like much all naked on my kitchen table, but it's a serious bit of eating. It's got 826 calories. It's more than any other McDonald's burger. Eating it would account for 40% of your recommended daily energy intake. And in this restaurant in little old New Plymouth, they're selling 1,500 lamb burgers a week. The launch of the lamb burger um, was even more successful than the Angus burger, which was extremely successful, so we're very happy. That's New Plymouth franchise owner Peter Foster. Just don't dress it backwards, eh, guys? He tells us he can make the burgers that he sells. He reckons from bun to box, 20 seconds is the aim. Two at a time, saves time. 
So this is the very vision former Prime Minister and Trade Minister Mike Moore had 30 years ago. We managed to sell one lamb burger uh, for every 100 hamburgers that were sold in the United States or in Japan. Even our 70 million sheep wouldn't be enough. Uh, it's a whole area of fast foods that I believe New Zealand ought to get into. McDonald's New Zealand is the first in the world to sell a lamb burger full time. Australia are trialling it and the boss here, Patrick Wilson, says people are taking notice of how it sells. The McDonald's region will be watching what we're doing uh, and I'm sure any success that they see here uh, they would love to replicate if the uh, economics and the opportunity stacks. So markets maybe like uh, North America, uh, it could be in markets like India. Uh, where they don't consume obviously a lot of beef. McDonald's already buys nearly half a billion dollars of New Zealand products a year. What's less than known is that it's also an exporter. McDonald's says $300 million of product gets shipped to its restaurants overseas. Yeah, bud, walk up. John McMurray might go to McDonald's once a year if he's lucky. I grow the stuff at home so I don't have to eat out. But he doesn't have to eat burgers to know how important they could be to his livelihood. It's got to be huge for the industry that it's just there's millions of people out there that it's going to be put out in front of.